Welcome back, Gunners, YouTubers, subscribers. We are finally at it. This is the moment everyone's been waiting for. This is where we start to give you the driving tutorials. This is where I share the knowledge that I've received since I was 15 years old. So bear with me with the camera angles. This is my first time doing this. Uh, it's actually gonna be my first time uh, maybe moving three different SIM cards around and getting the footage and editing that together. Uh, been practicing a lot. So I know you guys have been seeing it through the vlogs. I am getting better and better and I appreciate all of your comments on, uh, on achieving those goals of becoming a better YouTuber. So let's start, let's begin. We're gonna, you, we're gonna discuss things in, um, in basically categories. We're gonna start with safety. We got, now this is very, very important also. I don't want you to go out there and hurt yourself, man. Find open roads. Hopefully they're not selling these tracks like they're rumored to be. Just do this safely, man. I don't want this on my conscience. I don't want someone's mother or dad calling me and telling me my son did X, Y, Z because he watched, you know, whatever. So let's sit back. Let's soak in this knowledge and um, let's start gunning. All right. All right now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right, so. All right, all right, guys. Yep, all right, all right, guys. All right, all right, so. Okay, boys. You got something to say, Forty? Yeah. Hi. So the first thing I wanna discuss with you guys is safety, right? And when we speak about safety, these are also procedures you need to take when you go to the track. Because if you ever, you ever got, you guys ever drove, I don't know, two, three hours to the track and they rejected you from driving or racing because you were missing a lug nut, uh, you didn't have a battery tie down, you didn't have seat belts, I don't know, you had an oil leak, uh, an antifreeze leak, it really sucks, you know what I mean? And it discourages you from going back to the track. So let's discuss that. Let's use this car as our guinea pig. This car was built for you guys. You guys remember when on the playlist, go to it, it's under Project Driver. And uh, this car was built on a budget. You guys told me, Aki, don't get too crazy. I'll show you the setup now and we'll get more into uh, what this car has basically for you to be safe and, um, you know, not get rejected at the track. So let's start off with the most obvious thing and that's the lug nuts, right? So every tire, every rim has its lug nut. They're all on, they're all tight, axles are tight. Um, Let's jump inside real quick. I have to discuss that because they will not let you race at the track if you're missing a lug nut. Remember that one lug nut and you cannot go down the track. So we have our seat belts here. Uh, if you're going faster than a specific time, uh, you do. Well, you you are required to put a five point harness in. So this car is fat, right? It's not cut up. It's not super light. It's got, you know, just, just the back is bare. It's, it's nothing special. This is a guinea pig car. This is made for you to learn. So this car, I would have to guess, is maybe like a high, a, a, I don't know, low 11. I don't know. It feels, it feels like if I put doors, it'll go 11.9. So basically an 11 second car slash high, I mean, low 12 second car. So everything is functional, power windows, sunroof, it has a radio, et cetera, et cetera. Let's jump inside. Inside the cabin, the first thing we wanna worry about is not to slouch, right? We don't wanna look cool while we're actually trying to perform and drive. So you're up on everything, you know what I mean? You gotta put this guy up. Make sure that the shifter is, 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 is right next to you know, you have all this here, so there's not too much movement. So now once we begin driving, you'll start to notice that I'm just going from here to here, 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 here. After the preload, we're going to get into preloading too. So you want us kind of every single one of you guys. Now let's break down shoes real quick, right? Aki, why do you have these sneakers on? So they're thin, right? Let me jump out real quick. 97 Air Max, not trying to be cool. These are beaters. They're couple of years old i didn't even clean them not trying to be cool but the sneaker itself is thin if you guys seen my driving on uh my instagram page the other day i was in foam posits very heavy sneaker 
a real wide so basically you know those ugly balenciagas that are super super wide you don't want to drive in nothing like that so get a nice thin comfortable light sneaker so you're not bumping your feet together while you're inside now let's talk about clutch adjustment you want that clutch pedal to be as high as possible so behind up there in that little area there's going to be a 12 millimeter nut you're going to turn that you're going to push the rod out so that your clutch pedal engages very very high it's what you want because if it's too low you'd have to stomp down on the clutch to get it into gear now when we're shifting we always want to move this foot this is the most important thing about shifting you want to move this foot faster than the right hand you get what i'm saying so you're in first You kind of want to do it together, but you always have to engage the clutch first, obviously, so they can go into gear. So before we actually start getting into hand positioning and seat positioning inside, let's just show you some of the stuff under here. Right? So I have my battery tie down there. I have no leaks at all. Everything is secured. I've triple checked. My oil is good. My antifreeze is good. And that's it. Rule of thumb real quick, right? This is a bone stock K24 TSX motor. Stock throttle body, stock RBC, nothing's ported, just a clutch kit, right? Real quick rule. If you have leaks, you're going to have problems. Make sure that the car has absolutely no leaks, antifreeze or oil. It won't last you the car will slowly start to die. So we got that part. Let's jump back inside and let's look back into seat positioning and hand positioning. So we're inside the cabin of the car. Now, I want you guys to practice this car off, parked, not on. Do not have the car on, just practice your hand positioning and how you are going to move your left foot, right? We're not gonna get into the preloading yet. I got you. Let's go into where this hand needs to be, right? So now we're sitting upright as high as we can. Just need to move up a little bit more. I've got my seat belt on, obviously. Bear with me, it's very hot today. It's very, very hot. Okay, so now we are in the car. Aki, where do we go from here? So we put the car in first gear. Now it's far left, obviously. Guys, I'm going to explain this. Like I'm talking to a five-year-old, I want to keep this very, very simple. I do not want to complicate nothing. So I'm in first gear, right? Now I take off. Now I want to get to second gear. I don't want to hold the shift knob in like a barbaric way. I'm not, this, you don't have to hold this super tight and squeeze it and never leave your hand on the shifter. Some people drive like this. That's wrong. No, 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 that's wrong. You are going to hurt your gears. You're going to stretch your cables. There's no reason for that. So first gear, right? Take off. Now I want to get into second. I'm going far left. I'm going towards my knee. I'm pushing down and left. Second, right? Now once I'm in second, now I have to figure out how to open up to go into third. Now my hand is not closed. I am going to push it right here. Right? I'm going to go and I'm going to go third. Now third is up like this with your hand open. Now when I want to come down to fourth, the only thing you would fall into is maybe reverse if you don't have a lockout, but you want to go backhand here. Fourth. You're not going back into second because what didn't you do? You didn't go far left and down. So third gear, fourth gear. And if you decide to go into fifth, it's up and to the right like you're going towards um, that windshield wiper. That's fifth gear power shift or any shift, right? So when we start to drive, we're gonna flat shift first. We're gonna teach you how you can, sometimes you can shift just as fast power shift as flat shift. So this is flat shift. One, boom, you take off. 
You know what I'm saying? So we got that part of the hand positioning. We want to be close. This right hand needs to be close to the shifter. We don't want a lot of movement. We don't want to be over here. We want to fall right into the position. If we're looking straight, we know where everything is because we got the feel of it. That's why I want you to sit in the car and just go one, two, three, four. We're only doing four gears. Let's not be heroes. Let's stay at four gears, okay? So first, one, two, messed up. Okay. One, two, three, four. We'll practice that first. Don't be ashamed, man. Go drive somewhere in a parking lot so you don't feel like you're crazy. Just go somewhere by yourself at nighttime and just sit in the car. That's hand position. Good. Again, guys, bear with me. It's super hot today. So now preloading. I see a lot of people making mistakes, right? And what do they do? They do this. When you hear that, that's a no-no. You always keep your thumb on the release, right? So when you're preloading in first gear and you're trying to get the car to creep up or you want to get a nice little launch, you're holding this. You're holding this the entire time, right? Because if you do one of these and you go to take off, nine out of ten times you'll leave it halfway when you go to hit it because you're so nervous. You're at the track. You're taking a pull, and you might leave it that way. So what you do is you go first, you preload the car, you always have your hand on the trigger, boom, 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 and then you take off. So preload. This guy right here, thumb always, his thumb lives on it. So boom, 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 and you take off right there. Somebody's probably going to make a meme out of that, that little boom I just made, but that's preloading. When we get the car on and we start to get into the driving aspect, you'll start to see me emphasize on that a lot. So, I don't know. I think, um, I think I want you guys to take this video right here. I want you to break it down. I want you to understand the hand positioning part. I'm going to continue to film. I'm going to put out this one now, and then I'll follow up to when we actually start driving. We're going to take baby steps into this. We're eventually going to get to the track. We're going to teach you how to drive on slicks. We're going to teach you how to drive on, um, on uh, street tires. We're going to teach you a whole bunch more, man. I've got some free time that Kobe's not here. I hope you guys enjoyed this part one. So this is basically seat positioning, some safety, hand positioning. I want you guys, hello, I want you to sit in your car and just practice these moves. One, two, three, four. Preload, like this. Just preload. Let it go. Sit in your car and just have some fun and do that. If you think I did a decent job on part one, please give me a like. I don't get no money from this. I might make 30 bucks on this video through advertisement through YouTube. I am doing this to help you better yourself driving and at the track. So like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys, man. Keep going.